right now. When I'm governor, that will be job number one. It's been almost two months since the devastating earthquake in Haiti. And here in the Hudson Valley, people continue their own efforts to aid those in need. Looks like nothing's going to change, no, no. That was just one of the musical talents that could be heard this past weekend at the Young Musicians Healing Haiti Benefit Concert. The event featured music from student musicians from across the Hudson Valley. It's a love for music and service coming together, says the event's organizer, Peter Enriquez, a 10th grader at Poughkeepsie Day School. Peter says the concert is just one way people can help give back and do their part to help the people of Haiti. I organized this benefit concert um, because when I heard about the, what happened in Haiti, I was just absolutely devastated and I felt, I felt the need to, to help the people there. I would suppose that everyone would say, you know, well, what can I do to, for this? You know what I mean? I can, I can have a bake sale, but what's that going to do? But, you know, if everyone says that, then no one's going to make any money. If, everyone's, if everyone says, oh, we can do this, then everyone's going to make all sorts of money and it's just, it's all just going to tremendously help Haiti. Artists were from Poughkeepsie Day School, the Lawrence School, Bishop Don Memorial School, and Stissing Mountain High School, and all proceeds will benefit the Vassar Haiti Project's relief efforts. A lot of community outreach for Haiti, which is good. Great to see it being mm -hmm. done. Still ahead on Cablevision News, a home invasion at a police's home turns out to be a bad mistake. And the fifth annual Southern Duchess Chambers